I'm Pat O'Donnell with Kershaw on Zero Tolerance Knives. Thanks for coming by the booth. I'm going to show you the new 2019 Zero Tolerance and Kershaw product. Starting with the Zero Tolerance line, we have our new ZT0022, the smallest ZT we've ever made. Full carbon fiber front scale, titanium anodized blue pivot collar, titanium back frame, nice pocket clip, titanium tube spacer here as well, and it runs on our KVT opening. Very smooth. Nice opening, very tiny though, small. Two finger grip. Comfortable knife and 20 CV blade steel. Mm -hmm. Then we have the 562 titanium. The 562 has been out already in carbon fiber front scale and G10. We now make it in a full titanium version. Um, the titanium version is actually lighter than the carbon fiber because the inside of the titanium is machined out. It's very lightweight, also runs on KVT opening and 20 CV blade steel, Rick Hinder's slicer grind. Um, it's hard to see on camera, but in here it is all machined out, very lightweight. Titanium back handle as well, this traditional deep carry pocket clip on the 562 series. And then we have the 393 GLCF. This has a Rick Hinder's working finish blade on KVT opening, so it's a heavy stone wash with a Spanto style blade. Stone wash titanium scales with carbon fiber overlays. The carbon fiber is glow in the dark, uh, so when hit with light, you get a nice green color. Uh, it's hard to tell in here with the fluorescent lights, um, but you can see you get a nice color, yeah. And it stays for quite some time when it's not as bright as it is in this building. It does stay for quite a while. Very nice, unique feature. The 460 tie um, is based off the 460 series, which has been out previously in carbon fiber, the brown copper carbon fiber. Um, this one's the full titanium version, also in KVT opening. It's traditional Persian style blade, the deep chamfering here. Titanium back handle, pocket clip. Nice, you know, classic Sinkovich design. And then, well, the 0470 from Dimitri Sinkovich as well. Marbled carbon fiber insert with the decorative pivot, machine titanium front handles as well as the back. Titanium, bent titanium pocket clip, 20 CV blade seal, and KVT opening. Very fast action. And then the Emerson 0640. Um, you get your toxic green carbon fiber scales, titanium frame, 20 CV blade steel with a thumb disc. No Emerson wave on this one. This is a very early Emerson design on the Viper series knife. So just a streamlined non-wave, non-KVT, bronze washer, manual opening knife. Very smooth, great action. You can do open it multiple ways. It's very, very great action. Um, Fantastic looking knife. And so six New Zealand Tolerance products. Um, these three came out at the end of last year. These three are brand new for 2019. Mm -hmm. But all three new, all 20 CV blade steels, titanium, and some carbon fiber. Um, but a great lineup for 2019. We're very excited for all the New Zero Tolerance products. So what about Kershaw? Yeah, when we jump into Kershaw, we have a few more Kershaw products than we do ZT. Um, and a range of speed safe and manual. I will show you through them all. We have uh, quite a few more Les George designs in Kershaw that we've had. Um, we have the Boiler Maker here, steel front handle, 8CR blade steel, brown wash instead of a black wash. It's a newer finish for us. Completely sterile blade because our Kershaw logo is uh, lasered through this hole, so you see it through this machining. There's lattice work on the back. Deep carry pocket clip here and speed safe opening. Frame lock, quick. And then we have the Seguin, another Les George design knife. Steel handle, deep chamfering here with some machining marks, gives it a really nice aesthetic touch. Very comfortable in your hand. Decorative thumb stud, I mean a pivot collar. Carbon nitride gray coating, your traditional Les George blade shape, deep carry pocket clip as well, and the, cham the chamfering and machining on the back as well. 
also speed safe opening, 8CR blade steel. Then we have the innuendo, thumb disc opening, manual, not KVT, decorative pivot. This handle is very thin, very lightweight. You can see there's a slight contouring, might be hard to see on video, so it's very comfortable in your hand. Deep K clip as well, and a manual opening. And then we have the Les George XCOM. This is based on an old M3 trench knife, um, which is traditionally a fixed blade design, but Les had worked it into a folder. So you get the glass filled nylon handle, shape, designed like the traditional fixed blade was, manual opening system. You get the guard like you would on a fixed blade, very comfortable with your thumb, you know, however you wish to hold it. It's a very nice knife, but very based off a traditional fixed blade, deep K clip as well. 8CR blade steel. Four new Les George designs. Fantastic pieces. Um, then we have the new Decibel. This knife is very popular, very different looking. It's uh, very futuristic. You got a big blue aluminum pivot collar here, blue backspacer, machined out aluminum handle, manual thumb stud opening system. You just walk it right out. Machining through both sides, front and back, so it's very lightweight pocket clip, you know, reverse Tanto blade here with the gray PVD, very, very clean, very futuristic. The Epistol follows very similar lines, very narrow, raw aluminum with the clear anodized over it to protect it. Uh, decorative spot right here, pocket clip, raw aluminum on both sides with a glass filled backspacer, excuse me, manual thumb stud opening with a bead blasted blade and 8CR 13's blade steel. The new Kershaw Mixtape. Mixtape is also a, a manual opening knife and injection molded handles with a steel liner and a thumb disc. 8CR 13 blade steel, very streamlined reverse tanto blade as well. Pocket clip rests through the holes here on the, on the back handle. So it's right in here, but very lightweight, being injection molded with thin steel liners with the reverse tonneau blade. Very functional, comfortable knife. Mm -hmm. The Kershaw Misdirect. Full steel handles, black hardware, lanyard hole, backspacer, nice long pocket clip, speed safe opening with the same reverse Santos style blade, black wash finish. Really nice Kershaw, very thin. Uh, very opening price point, uh, US dollars, this runs about $34.99, so it's really price point Kershaw compared to most of these are a little bit more expensive. So this one's probably our opening price point. Very, very nice with speed safe opening. Then we have the Oblivion, a little bit larger of a Kershaw, full steel handle, machined out with a glass filled inlay right here, so it's just flush with the handle. Get a nice two-tone look of steel and glass filled. Back handle is full steel with a glass filled and steel uh, over travel stop for the lock bar. Deep carry pocket clip, 8CR13 blade steel, and speed safe opening. Larger knife, but very fast action. And we have the Reverb XL, again, um, our active series line, very lightweight, full G10 front handle with carbon fiber overlay. The carbon fiber is not a sticker, it's part of the G10, so it's stacked with the G10 during production. Uh, and so it's one solid material, and then we machine away the carbon fiber to reveal the G10 underneath. So the carbon fiber is not going to come off, it's part of the G10. Steel back handle, deep carry pocket clip, carabiner as well, so you can carry it multiple ways, on a bag, on a belt. Um, pocket, however wish to carry it, manual thumb stud opening as well. That's called the Reverb XL. Then we have two new styles, um, a mechanism we've used on Zero Tolerance product in the past. These are the SLT tabs, spring-loaded tabs. And so the spring-loaded tab is very similar to a flipper, but it sits parallel to the spine. So it sits flush right here, and the, the mechanism opens like so. Um, and you'll see it comes to like a stop there and then you go one more to open it. 
Um, the spring-loaded tab is a very nice feature. GTC knives design. Um, he uses in all his customs. And this is the Turismo. You get the leaf-style blade with these contoured handles. Smaller, very comfortable in your hand. And then we have the new collateral, full steel with carbon fiber inlay. Uh, the bridge backspacer gives it a very fast look with the SLT tab. The Kershaw collateral, 8CR13 MOV blades. We have the Kershaw Antic based off our shuffle series of knife. Blue PVD handle, steel handles, bottle opener, karambit ring. So you can get your extra finger on it, manual opener as well. Very smooth, very comfortable. Bottle opener on knives are very popular. And then the copper cinder. Copper cinder is really popular. The cinder knife has been very popular for, for the last two years. Um, and then with the popularity of copper right now, we decided with the copper matrix especially, we made a full copper cinder. The small size of the cinder allows it not to be too heavy because copper is a very heavy material. But you get all the machining in it, it'll patina nicely. A Rick Hinder design. For being so small, you can actually get a full three finger grip on it. It's a very well designed knife, very small, comfortable though. Also has a bottle opener here on the back. And then we make a Kershaw skate tool. For skateboarding, we work with professional skateboarder Chris Cole. It's got all your hex wrenches um, to work on your skateboard, as well as your Phillips and your Allen key. And that is the 2019 Kershaw lineup. So, thank you very much for this uh, interesting presentation. Yes, and, thank you. Uh, have a nice first exhibition day. Thank you. See you. Bye.